hi guys today I'm gonna show you how to open up the HP AB032TX laptop basically to clean out the vent and the fan and also I'm I will be upgrading the RAM but before we start let me make one thing clear I am in no way responsible if anything goes wrong with your laptop please do it at your own risk so let's get started you need to wear an anti-static wristband tools required for this is a Phillips screwdriver a flat screwdriver that's not sharp basically like this and a debit card credit card or whatever cards you have So let's start by pressing the power button a couple of times so that if there's any power left it would drain out. Also make sure to take off your battery. Mine is already out. And also unplug your charger. These are the screws that need to be taken off. So first you need to use the Phillips screwdriver. Basically this is the main screwdriver to take off all the screws this is all you will need let's start by taking off the screw for the CD DVD drive There are two tiny screws under this drive that I will remove later. Now let's start by removing the screws of the back leg. These screws are bigger in size. Here, as you can see. There is one for each back leg. Now you have to just uh, shake the back leg a bit so that it loosen up a bit and try to take it off. Okay, so let's try to take it off with the flat screwdriver.
be a bit gentle with it or you might get scratches on your laptop oh there you go now we need to do the same thing with the other leg and that's off too so now I will take off all these screws and be back Okay, now let's take off the two tiny screws which I had mentioned earlier under the DVD ROM. Please try and use uh, the smaller size of Phillips screwdriver as uh, the head of these screws are very small. I use the same screwdriver because I do not have a smaller size. Now we need to use the flat screwdriver to take off the sticker, silver sticker. There are two screws under it, you need to take that off too. Now let's flip the laptop over. And uh, just try and make some space. <coughs> so that we can put the card in there. And just uh, make sure that you don't push the card all the way in just at the edges so that uh, it uh, gets free from the latches do this all around the laptop So now let's move to the back. Here there are around 4 latches, the last 4 latches that you need to take off. So for this we need to use something which has no sharp edges. So for this you need to just uh, hold the upper part of the 
uh, laptop and push down on the latches you, you need to do this for all four of them you might find other ways to do this but uh, this method worked good for me there you go this is off too it looks like the hard drive just moved a bit out of place yeah but you can put it back in so I had opened my laptop before as well and as you can see the fan and the vent is very clean so I will play the video I taken a video earlier when I opened it to show how dirty it got or dust it collected so I will play the video and show you at the dust it has collected in around seven to eight months that's the reason why the temperatures would go so high on the CPU and GPU as well so to clean the fan you need to take out these two screws on it let me give you a closer look that's one and the that's the other one basically two screws on two sides of the fan it's better if you take off the fan because it gets easier to clean Also please remember that the fan is connected to the motherboard, you need to take that off too. But before that let me give you a closer look of the fin or the exhaust or whatever you call it. Even that part was very dirty, I mean collect that collected too much of dust. Okay, let me unplug the fan connector. This is what the fan looks like, a tiny fan. So there are two screws on the side. There you, you can unscrew that and you will be able to clean it well let me put this back in place
now for the RAM upgrade I had ordered this online and I had ordered for one that said HP but they sent me the one that says Dell but I don't think it will affect anything it should be compatible with this as well so let me show you the RAM that's installed by HP it's from Kingston that's why I was looking for a Kingston RAM basically all you need to see is that the RAM is low volt 1.35 and running at 1600 megahertz DDR3 that is So basically well, uh, uh, you just need to put this into the slot and press it down till you hear a click. The first time I tried it, it was uh, not going down. But then after 2-3 uh, tries, it did go down after pressing a bit on it. So just uh, press gently on it and you should hear a click. There you go. I don't even know why am I upgrading the RAM if it will be useful or not let's see because I didn't see any game uh, exceeding the 8 GB of RAM just a few of them I did see them reaching 7 GB I mean during in game gameplay so now let's uh, close this up so to close it you need to push slide it in from the top let me get it aligned yeah just slide it in from the top and press press it down till you hear the clicks now let's flip it over and uh, just uh, uh, press down on it uh, in the front as well like all the edges till you hear the clicks and you till you see no gap at all now let's flip it over again and start putting all these screws I will be starting with the smaller screw near the DVD drive. Okay, so now I'm on the laptop and let me show you that the RAM is installed. Here, yeah, as you can see, it shows 16 GB. Even in your task manager, as you can see, 4.3 GB is in use. That's because I have a couple of applications open. And over here, as well in CPU Z it shows 16 GB 
this installed one is the HP installed RAM. It's the same from Kingston, everything. And as you can see in slot 2, again, it's the same thing. I mean, nothing, no values have changed. So basically, the RAM is the correct one for this laptop. I will leave a link in the description for the RAM. If you are planning on buying it online, you can go ahead and use my link. I hope this video helps all the AB series laptop owners who want to clean the fans as well as upgrade the RAM. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you like the video. Peace.